The overall goal of this procedure is to measure the ability of cells to release cholesterol and the capacity of an acceptor to take up cholesterol. First, seed an even monolayer culture in 12 well plates. Then, label cellular cholesterol by incubating cells with tritiated cholesterol for 48 hours. Perform an equilibrium incubation for 18 hours in serum-free media with experimental drug treatments like LXR agonist or cyclic AMP. After washing the cells, proceed to the cholesterol efflux incubation with an acceptor such as plasma, HDL, or ApoA1. Process the samples to remove acceptor and evaluate how much cholesterol moved from the cells to the acceptor. Ultimately, this cholesterol efflux assay can be used to determine the ability of cells to release cholesterol and the capacity of the acceptor to accept cholesterol. This method can help answer key questions in the field, such as what are the cellular and systemic mechanisms responsible for the removal of excessive cholesterol from cells, and how these pathways are regulated. To know the state of cellular cholesterol homeostasis is important for many diseases, but it is most relevant for cardiovascular diseases. If the stock of tritiated cholesterol is supplied in toluene, dry it down completely with nitrogen gas. Redissolve to a working stock of 1 millicurie per milliliter in 100% ethanol and vortex to mix well. After incubating the cells for 48 hours, add to each well of a 12-well plate.